What do these markings mean on the side of your chainsaw guide bar? And also, how do you order the proper replacement chain for your chainsaw? That's what we're talking about today, guys. Oh yeah, right. Thank you, April. Ooh, old Milwaukee. Excellent. Okay guys, welcome back to Steve Small Engine Saloon. I have had lots of comments from guys on my channel saying exactly that. What do those numbers mean on the side of my guide bars on my chainsaw? What do those numbers mean? Also, comments coming in saying, um, how do I order the right chain for my chainsaw? How do I make sure I'm getting the right, proper replacement chain for my chainsaw? Those two comments right there go hand in hand, so I'm gonna cover both of those topics in this one video. First of all, if you just want a new chain for your chainsaw and you're buying it from your local small engine shop, your local dealer, take your whole saw in, the whole thing, just like this. Put it on the counter, then they can see what model your chainsaw is, they can see what chain you have on it, they can see what bar you have on it, and they can see the markings on that bar themselves and in most cases they're gonna if you're going to buy a new chain anyway they're gonna probably install that chain for you free of charge anyway making a hundred percent sure that you have the proper chain on your chainsaw but let's face it guys I mean what year is this in today's day and age we're all buying stuff online right now you can't just take your saw in to some place if you're buying it online how can you make sure that you're buying the proper chain when you're buying it online. There are three different numbers that you need to know. You need to know the pitch of your chain, you need to know the gauge of your chain, and you need to know the driver count of your chain. Now, I'm gonna take you through this real quick. We're not gonna spend a whole lot of time on this. Just in a nutshell, I'll show you what I mean by this. These little shark tooth looking things on the bottom of your chain, those are your drivers. The pitch of your chain, in a nutshell, is how far apart those are from each other. The gauge of your chain is how thick those are, where it fits into the groove of your, of your bar, so that's proper. And obviously the next one is the driver count. You count those. Literally count how many of those little shark tooth looking things on there, those little drivers on there. Count how many those are on there. I fold my chain in half and count by twos. Count it two or three times. Now most of that information should be, theoretically, if you're lucky, it should be stamped, written on the side of your guide bar. Let's look at these guide bars real quick. I'll show you what I mean by that. Steel, I know some of you pronounce it still, that's fine. Husqvarna, very clear on their guide bars. Look at my little MS-230 right here. Could this be more clear? It says right on there, 05, that's your gauge, 325, that's your pitch, and clearly it says 68 drivers long. That has all three numbers that you need to know to order that chain online. Husqvarna bar right here. Again, 325, 78 DL, DL stands for driver links, and right up there it says 058. Look at, this is an Oregon bar right here, same thing, 325 pitch, 78 drive links long, and up there it says 058. Here's an old Echo bar right here, same thing. 050 gauge, 78 drive lengths long, 325 pitch. Those are the three numbers that you need to come up with. Write those numbers down. Now, I gotta, I gotta say that those are the newer bars. They're, they're, they have all the information on there that you want. Some of the old bars out there don't really have as much information on them. Sometimes they'll have like two of those three numbers on there. 
Have a look at these Oregon bars. This one right here says, if you can see that, it says, what that means is 20 inch bar, 050 gauge, but it doesn't really say the driver count or the pitch of the chain. Here's another Oregon bar that says 20 inch chain, 058 gauge, and at least up here it says 3 eighths chain. But neither one of those bars really tells you the driver count. Those are old bars right there. So hopefully you're gonna have a bar that has all the information, all three numbers that you need on that. The other thing I need to bring up is there might be a kind of a fourth thing that you gotta worry about. If you come up with that your chain has a 3 8 chain, 3 8 chain can come in two different sizes, sorta of like that. I'll show you the difference here. I'm gonna show you the difference between a 3 8 chain that's full size chain and one that's a Pico or a low profile chain. Now, if you can see that right there, you see how the drivers themselves are the spaced exactly the same. Those both are 3 8 chain. But you can see clearly that these are different size changes. The, the cutters are different sizes. This one on the bottom is a full size 3 8 chain. This one on the top is what's called the 3 8 chain, but it's a low profile or a Pico chain. Now there's a little gray area right here. When you get into um, uh, about a 16 or an 18 inch bar, something like that, if you go below an 18 inch bar and it's a small chainsaw, it could have 3 8 low profile Pico chain on it. When you get above the 16 or 18 inch mark, it's most likely going to be the 3 8 full size chain. If you have an electric chainsaw, it's almost guaranteed if you have an electric chainsaw that's a 3 8 it's going to be the low pro uh, small chain. So if you have a 3 8 chain that's in that ball, ballpark around the 16 or 18 inch mark, um, hopefully what I just showed you there with that close up, you're going to be able to see that your chain, you're gonna be able to look at your chain and go, oh, well that's definitely the full size or that's definitely the low profile chain, the Pico chain. So now you wanna buy a chain online. You have all three of those numbers. You know whether it's a, th a 3 8 Pico low profile chain or it's the 3 8 uh, full size chain. You can go online and buy one now with, the, with that information. Go back to my description. This is a perfect example. On my description of this video, I have a link to Amazon. Take you back to a link. Sometimes um, the description on their, when they're selling a chain, the description literally will say 16 inch bar for a Husqvarna chainsaw. That's what the description is. That doesn't tell you anything. Little tip here, they always have that little photograph right beside the description. Zoom into that photograph of the packaging itself of what you're going to receive in the mail. Nine out of 10 times, that packaging is gonna say right on the front, gauge, pitch, and driver count. And whether it's low profile Pico or full size 3 eighths. Zoom into that thing, you can't get it wrong. If you do that, you know you're gonna be getting the right chain. So I hope that helped answer the questions that you guys are asking me. I hope that was clear enough and thorough enough. Um, what can I say? Uh, like, subscribe, share. That would be cool, guys. Till the next video, Steve out.